What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. This is the weekend update. This is the show where I share my thoughts, gaming or otherwise, and also respond to questions that were left left in last week's episode. So if you got any questions for next week, leave them down in the comments section below. So I wanted to talk about the game that you're seeing around me. This is Bulletstorm. This was actually released in 2011 by Epic Games and EA. Uh, it didn't do very well, so it wasn't very popular. and Not a lot of people have seen this game. Uh, and I actually needed a game for Weekend Update because I don't like to play Call of Duty for the Weekend Update. I like to do a little something different. Uh, and since I've been playing Tomb Raider for a Let's Play, I figured, you know what, I'll throw... I'll throw a game in there that's a little bit older, maybe people haven't seen, and that was Bulletstorm. So if you haven't checked out this game, basically here's the setup. It has, it's a first person shooter that feels a lot like Gears of War, but it's ultra, ultra violent. Uh, you actually get skill points for, based on how violently you killed people, and then you use those skill points to upgrade your weapons and buy ammo and stuff like that. It's very, very violent. It's got a lot of uh, very nasty language in it, but it kind of doesn't take itself very seriously, which makes it a lot of fun. So if you're interested in it, it's called Bulletstorm. You can find it at GameStop used for like 8 or $9 at this point, and it's quite fun. Uh, I've also been doing the Tomb Raider Let's Play. I've been having an awful lot of fun with that. I wanted to actually ask you guys if you guys would prefer me do longer episodes for that or increase the frequency in which episodes come out. So I've been trying to do either one or two episodes a day. It does take me about six hours to render and upload each episode. So I've been trying to upload one during the day while I'm at work and one at night while I'm sleeping, obviously, because those are big gaps where I don't need a computer. So the computer can just be rendering and uploading. So what do you guys think? Would you rather see like maybe one hour long episodes that come out less frequently? Or do you like the 20 minute episodes that come out maybe once or twice a day? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'm also pretty excited because this is the first weekend I've had where I haven't had to work. So I have a second job where I do sports photography uh, and it's seasonal work, right? But it's been going pretty strong since Christmas. So this is the first weekend that I'm gonna have off since Christmas. So I love that job, don't get me wrong, but when you work seven days a week for you know a couple months straight, you know, you get a little burnout, you get a little ready for some time off. So this weekend I'm gonna get a little bit of time off to spend with the family, the kids, the you know, the fiance and that should be really nice you know trying to like kind of reconnect you know after you don't see somebody for a long time even when you see them just in the night or just in the morning uh not spending like bulk of time with people you start to kind of drift away so it'll be really nice to kind of spend my time with them i'm also planning on doing a little bit of gaming definitely getting back into tomb raider getting the next part of the let's play going also doing a little bit of call of duty ghosts i have not been playing a lot of call of duty uh lately just because i've been so busy i did get to record a few clips probably a few days ago but I'm really looking forward to actually getting some, you know, a couple hours of playtime like in a row. Uh, I find that Call of Duty is a funny thing. Even if I just don't play for like a few days or God forbid like a week, it takes me a little while to kind of get my skills back. It's really a game uh, that's got such precise skill sets, you know, you really got to be so accurate with the thumbsticks and your timing and even your mindset that uh, just a little bit of time away really kind of, it slows those reaction times. So that'll be interesting to see what happens with that. I'm trying to play more on the Xbox 360, getting used to that controller. I actually was at GameStop today. Uh, I actually bought this and some grips. The silicone grips go on the thumbsticks of the controller. So you can imagine here on the uh, thumbstick, it's just like a silicone cover that goes on. Uh, I like to call them thumbstick condoms. Uh, so hopefully, those are coming in the mail. I actually had to order them while I was there. Uh, they were only like eight bucks though, so I figured it was a no-lose situation. So hopefully those will come soon, uh, and hopefully they'll, they'll improve my experience with the Xbox One controller. Uh, I did pick up this while I was there. This is a Kinect mount, uh, and I kind of wanted just to check this thing out. So right now, my Kinect is, has fallen behind my TV, and that's something that happens probably about twice a week. I have a TV here on my desk. It's about this thin <laughs> on the top of the TV, and I just have the Kinect sitting on top of it, and you know, basically any wiggling that happens with that TV, the Kinect just topples off the back. 
So this thing's got a screw and it's got some kind of latching mechanism here. Uh, hopefully it'll make the Kinect sit a little easier on the TV, a little more stable. Uh, and I'll let you guys know what I think. I don't know if I'll do like a full review video, uh, but I'll at least let you guys know what I think about this. You know, it's $20 and $20 is not an insignificant amount of money to spend on a little tiny piece of plastic like this. So I'll let you guys know uh, pretty soon. Sledgehammer, uh, a lot of people are talking about how the next Call of Duty is going to be developed by Sledgehammer. Uh, EA had their kind of earnings report call, conference call yesterday, and they mentioned it, but I kind of feel like we already knew this. I guess, I guess the big news is that EA confirmed it yesterday, but I really kind of already knew this. I knew Sledgehammer was developing this year. They worked on Modern Warfare 3. Hopefully they've had all this time since Modern Warfare 3 to be developing this new Call of Duty. Uh, we don't know exactly what this is gonna be. We don't know if it's gonna be a continuation of the Modern Warfare franchise. Uh, almost certainly won't be another Black Ops game. I think that Treyarch is really gonna be in charge of that franchise. Uh, so it may, might be something completely new. It might be a return to World War II. Uh, I'd almost like to see a return to like the 70s or 80s, like uh, Vietnam or kind of those big bombastic action movies of the 80s. I really like Black Ops, how it was set in the 80s. I really like that weapon set and all of that. So I would, I would actually welcome a return to that era. Uh, but we'll have to see. Again, I didn't really know this was news. So everybody, like internet exploded like sledgehammer 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 treyarch is going to be the year after but i i thought we knew that already so i think that's going to do it for this video thank you very much for watching if you like this video hit that like button and if you're new to the channel hit subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here and this is the weekend update, the show <laughs> the video where I share my thoughts and gaming